Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Peter Johnson at WheatPete, RealAgriculture.com, and if you haven't noticed, I love wheat. And so we just came from an amazing wheat field, just an incredible wheat field. And now we're standing in, it, it's a solid wheat field, but it's not amazing. And you know, we get tons of questions, tons of questions about split nitrogen on wheat. So let's talk about split nitrogen on wheat. Which field do you think you should split the nitrogen on wheat? Well, that's a good question. So first back up. What does split nitrogen really do? Now this is true whether we're talking about split nitrogen on corn, split nitrogen on wheat, any of the crops, really what split nitrogen does is simply buy you insurance. What does it buy you insurance from? Well, you know, the bugs in the soil surface, if they run out of oxygen, they still have to survive. And they're just like you and I, they're gonna try to keep breathing. And the way they do that is they take the nitrate, it's NO3. So that means there's three oxygens there and no, uh, no real oxygen left. Well, they take that nitrate, those oxygens off that, and that's what they use as the electron receptor so they can survive and, and they don't really breathe, but so to speak, they can respire. And once they do that, NO3 becomes NO2 or NO or just N2, whatever, they're all gases and off they go into the atmosphere. So when I split my nitrogen, really what I'm doing? Well, I'm protecting myself from if the soil gets saturated, that nitrogen loss. The other thing with split nitrogen that I'm doing is instead of making the decision for Western Canada, I put all my nitrogen on in the fall. Well, guess what? If I run out of moisture, that money's all spent. I have no management opportunity. In Ontario, if I put all my nitrogen on on the 15th of April, I have no management opportunity left. So if I split my nitrogen, I buy insurance from loss. That's a good thing from an environmental standpoint, absolutely. Plus, second application, I know what my moisture status is. I know what the temperature's been. With wheat, really critical what the temperature's been. I'm way smarter to make that nitrogen decision. So that's really how nitrogen plays and split nitrogen on wheat. The other thing that it does, the later I go with that second application, then the more protein I make. So if I'm going to split, when should I split? So the first application is sort of normal timing on wheat. The second application is always after second node. Why after second node? Because that's when I get away from standability issues. Second node, my, my stem elongation is set. So I can put more nitrogen on and I don't make it lodge. And of course, lodging is a big issue. And how big is that window? That's the other question I get asked. How big is that window? Well, I say growth stage 32, second node. I squeeze the stem, come up the stem, feel that first bump, that's first node. Go above that if I can squeeze it again and it collapses because we grow hollowed stem wheats for the most part. Feel another bump, that's second node. I don't want to be able to squeeze above that and crush it or I'm too late but the window there is actually quite big. So anytime from second node to flag leaf stage, that's good enough because the wheat crop really doesn't need that big shot of nitrogen until I get into pollination and grain fill. That's when I want the wheat crop to be going fast. So I get a big window there, it really works well. So that's sort of the timing, that's the reason we would do the whole split nitrogen thing. And then you come back and say, okay, which one of these two fields would I split nitrogen on? And a lot of growers are probably saying, well, this little wheat is where I'm gonna split nitrogen. No, 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 it's actually this big wheat. And so this big wheat, you know, we've got wheat here that has four tillers per plant. This is amazing early planted wheat. As soon as you get into amazing early planted wheat that's got all sorts of yield potential, this might be 130 bushel wheat, what happens? Want to crank the nitrogen rate, got to support that, that yield potential. What happens when I crank the nitrogen rate and I plant early? I get taller wheat that flops. So this is the wheat that I would split the nitrogen on. This wheat where I have only one, maybe the odd plant with two tillers, but they're very weak tillers. Boy, this wheat, I want early nitrogen on and I can put it all on in one shot because I'm not very worried about this wheat lodging. Now, from a, a, a 
insurance policy, I can still split it here, but it doesn't have nearly the impact of on this bigger wheat. So a really interesting thought process around split nitrogen. I, I love split nitrogen because it makes you a better manager, but it won't always pay. And in our data set, added yield from split nitrogen, very rare, rare. Like that astounds me, but very rare to add yield. You can add protein, you can protect lodging, and you can make better decisions, buy your insurance from the loss, but not very often add yield. Totally different than what a lot of people think about split nitrogen on wheat. I hope that sorts it out, straightens that thought process. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Get that nitrogen on your wheat right.